Our experts say there has been an increase in demand for long-term contraceptives. The demand comes after Iowa's abortion law was enacted and days after voters elected Donald Trump for a second term. Now, Iowa's abortion law bans abortions once cardiac activity is detected. And President-elect Trump has said there should be punishments for abortion patients. And Vice President-elect J.D. Vance has said he wants abortion to be illegal nationwide. KCRG tv 9s Abigail Curtin spoke with a Cedar Rapids OBGYN to learn about the impact these political moves are having on women here. In the last six months alone, Iowa's reproductive care landscape has changed a lot. And now that voters re-elected Donald Trump, experts say they're seeing more women looking for long-term family planning solutions. When Donald Trump was first elected in 2016, a study from the National Library of Medicine revealed there was a 21% spike in women seeking long-term birth control. And now that he was re-elected, it's happening again. I would say there's an increase in patients requesting long-acting reversible contraception, and that's what we call a LARC. People are taking a closer look at what kind of contraceptive is going to be right for them in their circumstances. And it's not just her. Planned Parenthood North Central States, which covers Iowa, Nebraska, and Minnesota, says they've seen a 150% increase in long-acting contraception appointments since the election. Messenger says even women with some form of protection are reaching out to further decrease their chance of pregnancy. Kind of what I consider double coverage, you know, where husbands already had a vasectomy and then they want to have an IUD place or they want to have their tubes out in addition because they just don't want to have that even like 0.1% chance of failure. This increase could also stem from Iowa's abortion law, which took effect in July. In August, Iowa saw a 38% decrease in abortions via physician or the abortion pill, according to the Guttmacher Institute. But Messenger says that even though access to reproductive care has changed, it's helped to create a dialogue. You know, it probably has increased the number of healthy and good conversations that women are having with their OBGYNs and their, you know, healthcare providers about what is the appropriate form of family planning for me. If these numbers continue to increase, it could mean longer delays in receiving reproductive care. And according to the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, Iowa has the fewest OBGYNs per capita of any U.S. state. In the studio, Abigail Curtin, KCRG TV9 News.